So, in this video, I want you to think about something. Think about upgrading from your iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE, the original one. Because they will not be supported anymore by the new iOS operating system this year. What's up, Lollipop? My name is Joe, and in today's video, yes, iOS 15 will be coming out somewhere around June. It always comes around the middle of June during WWDC, or as uh, Talos of Tech calls it, Quadruple DC, which first I thought it was a really good name for it, and then I really hated what he said, and now I'm, I'm kind of digging it again, so WW, aka Quadruple DC. I do not know what kind of phone you have, but I do know that what phone you should not have after September this year because we are saying goodbye to three amazing phones in terms of support. This is the iPhone 6S, the 6S Plus, and the original iPhone SE. Now, every year in June, we have the WWDC, and during this event is when they show us the new operating system for iPhone, iPad, MacBook, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. It's the iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS and this year it'll be iOS 15. Now every year we have some of the older devices not getting support because as these software features improve they require a lot more processing power which older phones might not be able to provide so Apple quickly cuts the cord and leaves the older devices on operating systems that they can handle. Hence, the iPhone 6 is on iOS 12. It can handle that perfectly if you have an iPhone 6 and you see that it's working maj majestically. That's because I Apple didn't bring it on iOS 14 and it's not lagging and there are no problems because that phone can keep up with that software. Now, this is what's gonna happen. iOS is going to leave behind iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE, the original version, with iOS 14, and they will not be getting the upgrade for iOS 15. This happens every year, except for last year, when everybody thought the iPhone 6S, the SE, and the 6S Plus will not be getting iOS 14, but iOS 14 was so well optimized for older devices that Apple could include these phones in there as well. Now, because these devices are really getting old now and they're really the last generation of iPhones, the generation we left behind after the introduction of iPhone X and XS, iOS 15 will not focus on them. The first iPhone to be able to upgrade to iOS 15 will be iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and everything above that. So 8, 8 Plus, 10s. 10R, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, 12, 12 Mini, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. These are the phones that will have iOS 15 support, and obviously the new iPhone that is coming out this year, iPhone 12S Mini, 12S, 12S Pro, and 12S Pro Max. So if you've been debating on upgrading your phone, if you've been holding out and saying, yeah, well, my iPhone 6 works perfectly, then, then this might be the time if you wanna stay relevant with all the updates and everything and the new features, then this September might be the time that you should upgrade to a new phone. But there are still some people who are like, oh, here's my iPhone 6S, this works perfectly and I'm not gonna change until it breaks down and I can't use it anymore. You know what? You are fine too, because Apple does care about you. Yes, they do. Even though they don't give you the new features of the software, they do give you security updates. You can see this with iPhone 6, that even though it's still on iOS 12, it has received security updates because Apple is very, very cautious and is very focusing on security. And even though it will not officially be supported by the newest operating system, Apple does take care of its older phones and tries to send security updates so that there are no problems. So if you want to stick it out until your phone dies, then be sure that you're not getting the latest and greatest features with iOS 15 in your iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and SE, but you will be getting the security updates, or I'm presuming you will, as we've seen Apple do before. So, you know, 
It's your choice. The good thing is you will have an opportunity to see what iOS 15 is gonna offer you and you can have a deciding time from June until September if you wanna upgrade or not. To the newest phone or to an iPhone 7, maybe that's an upgrade you would like. Anyway, I wanna know what you guys think. Hit me down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget, until my next video, stay safe and hang loose.